Fractions. Multiply or divide to find equivalent fractions. What are they? Represent equal parts of a whole or a collection. Why? Helps in telling time. Interesting fact. The pink to reddish color of a flamingo's feathers comes from carotenoids, the pigment that also makes carrots orange, and their diet of plankton, brine shrimp, and blue-green algae. Now let's take a look at the vocabulary that you may need to know. Numerator, the number on top. Denominator, the number on bottom. How I remember is D for down. Um, let's take a look at the fraction one half. One is your numerator, two is your denominator. Now let's take a look at this rectangle that you see. It represents one. We are now going to divide it into two equal sections. So that means each one is uh, one half. And now we're going to mainly focus on the half that is on the right. And now we're going to divide the, the whole rectangle again into four equal sections. And now we're going to mainly focus on the right. Hopefully you see a, uh, an, an equivalence between these two fractions. Now uh, we're going to divide the, the one rectangle into six equal sections and just focus on the right hand side. And now we're going to do it again. We're going to divide it into eight equal sections and mainly focus on the right hand side. So as we can see, it doesn't really matter how many times you divide it, as long if you keep dividing it, and there's uh, there there will be that the right hand side will be equivalent if you do uh, if you do it by even numbers. Now let's take a look at it and see how we can find how they're equivalent mathematically. So we have one half, and we need to relate it to two fourths. How can we get one to two? How can we get two to four? Well, in this case, we can just multiply each number by two. So one times two gives me two. 2 times 2 gives me 4. Okay, so now we, we know that 1 half is equal to 2 fourths because we can see it on the screen. They're, they're, they're both on the right-hand side. They both represent the same amount of space, and we know that those are two equal. Uh, so now let's go ahead and take a look at 1 half and 3 sixths. So we know that those are equal by looking at the screen. They share the same amount of space. So how do we get there? How do we get 1 to 3? How do we get 2 to 6? Well, we can multiply each number by 3. 1 times 3 gives me 3. 2 times 3 gives me 6. Okay, and if we go the other way, and if we divide by 3, we'll, we'll come up with uh, 1 half. So they're still going to give you the same, amount, the same amount of space. Now let's take a look if we do 1 fourth and compare it to 4 over 8. And if we go 1 to 4, we get times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay? So now let's take a look at it where we don't have the, the fractions with us. Let's go ahead and take a look at the steps. Step one, find a way to relate the first and second fraction. Step two, multiply or divide the numerator or denominator. Step three, multiply or divide the denominator or numerator by the same number. So in this case, let's read the question, complete the fraction so that it is equivalent. So we have one half is equal to something over 10. Now we need to relate the denominators because we're missing the, the numerator on the right-hand side, and we need to relate these two numbers. Well, we can do that by multiplying 2 times 5, which gives me 10. Okay, since we did that to the denominator, now we need to do something to the numerator. We need to do exactly the same thing. So 1 times 5, and that gives me 5. So must multiply or divide the numerator or denominator by the same number. That is the, the main uh, key principle in all of this. Example two. So complete the fraction that is equivalent. Well, this time we have to compare the numerators. So how do we get from one to three? Okay, well, times three. One times three is three. Well, now we figured that out. Now we need to do the same to the denominator. So now we need to multiply it five times three, which gives me 15. So once again, don't, uh, if you multiply or uh, divide the numerator and denominator, they have to be by the same number. Okay, so now we can go ahead and take a look at this fraction. Complete the fraction so that is equivalent. One fourth is equal to something over 12. We need to relate the first and second fraction. How does 4 become 12? Well, use times 3. Okay, since we did that to the de denominator, we now we need to do it to the numerator. So we now need to multiply 1 times 3, which gives me 3. So once again, let's multiply or divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. Take a look at this example. 
complete the fraction so that is equivalent. Well, you have two thirds and equals something over 15. Now we have to compare the, the denominators and we have to relate three and 15. We have to use multiplication or division. And let's go ahead and do times five. So three times five gives me 15. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So therefore we need to multiply two times five, which gives me 10. And there we have it. Let's take a look at this example. So we need to relate to the, the denominators. How are they related? Four and 16, what multiplication is it? Oh, times four. We got it, well done. Now since we did it to the denominators, now we need to do it to the numerators. So we need to do three times four, which is 12, and there we have it. Now it is your turn, so go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer these questions, and I will show you the answers in three, two, and one. Here, here they are. If you got them correct, well done. If you didn't, there's always tomorrow.